everybody. My name is Crystal Dawson. I am with the Aegis therapy team and the wellness director here at Wichita Presbyterian Manor in Wichita, Kansas. And today we are going to do a class called cardio circuit. Basically what cardio circuit is, is it is an intensity interval training. It goes between switching from a strengthening exercise to a cardio exercise. What I do is we are going to go 30 seconds on with our cardio with a 30 second rest, which is one minute period. And then our strengthening exercise, we will go 45 seconds with a 15 second rest. Now I know that not everybody can maybe go 45 seconds during a strengthening. Um, so you can modify this and make it less time. And same with the cardio. You can, instead of 30 seconds, you can go 15 or 20 seconds and then rest for the remainders, make it a one minute period on each exercise. There will be two rounds in this class. The first round, we will do four exercises, and that is a cardio exercise paired with a strengthening exercise. So we'll go through four of those. We'll take a short break, which I typically do about a minute and a half to two minutes. And then we start our second round. And again, we go and we do four exercises, which is paired cardio and strengthening. Now, if you aren't able to use weights, that is perfectly fine. You can just use your arms and use that range of motion or you can um, grab, if you don't have weights, water bottles or something of that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a warm up. Let's tap our toes on the floor and fingertips on your thighs. This is a great exercise to really work through the range of motion in your ankles. Get those shoulders back, chest up. And then switch, put those feet flat on the floor and tap your heels and your palms. Heels on the floor, palms on your thighs. Again, it's a great way to warm up and use those joints in our ankles. All right. Bring those feet back flat to the floor, and now we are going to tap our toes side to side. Make sure you really pick those toes up as you tap them side to side, and turn your wrist in a circle. We want to isolate that movement to our wrists. Again, make sure your shoulders are back, your chest is up. Good. Let's put those feet flat on the floor again. And now we're going to pick our heels up and tap those side to side and turn your wrist the opposite direction. You don't have to rush through this. This is a great warm up and great um, exercise to get those joints moving. As we age, we tend to lose range of motion in our joints, like our ankles our wrist, her shoulders and neck. So it's a good way to get those things warmed up. All right, put those feet flat on the floor, shoulders back, chest up, chin up, turn your torso to the right, look over your right shoulder. Center, turn your torso to the left, look over your left shoulder. Center, to the right, look over that right shoulder. Center, turn to the left, look over your left shoulder. Center, one more time on this right side. Center, one more time on the left side. Center, good. Let's go ahead and tap our heels out in front of us, alternating right heel and left heel. And I want you to reach straight up and make sure we are focusing on pulling this thumb away from our fingers. Really stretch those fingers out. Reach up, stretch those fingers out. And again, I know that not everybody's shoulders may allow them to reach up. If that doesn't work for you, bring your arms out forward, okay? Reach up, pull that thumb down. Warm up those muscles in your hands.
Very good. Bring those feet in flat on the floor. Now we're going to take our toes and we're going to tap them back, alternating right and left. And we're going to reach to the side. Again, pull this thumb away from all those other fingers. Spread those fingers out. Again, opposite arm, opposite toe. We don't want to rush through this. We want to go through that range of motion. Very good. All right, put those feet flat on the floor. Let's go ahead, still sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back, chest up. Bring your shoulders up and down, up and down. Good, center. Now we're gonna bring our shoulders forward and backwards, forwards, and backwards. All right, and now roll those shoulders forward, kind of bring those two motions together. Really focus on moving your shoulders and not your arms. Try not to bring those arms like this, because a lot of times when we do that, we Take that range of motion away from our shoulders. All right, center. Now we're going to roll those shoulders back. All right, very good. And of course, my favorite thing, sit to stance. We're going to do five sit to stance. So tuck those feet back. Sit all the way in the front of your chair, and we're going to complete those five sit to stands. Remember, when you stand up, stand up nice and tall, bring those hips forward, sit down nice and slow. Okay, try not to plop in that chair. If you're unable to do a sit to stand, that's perfectly fine. You can just pick those knees up nice and tall. All right, ready and go. Lean forward, stand up, shoulders back, hips forward. Sit down nice and slow. Two. Three. Four. And five. Very good. <clears throat> All right, now that we have warmed up a little bit, let's go ahead and get started. As I said earlier, if you um, have equipment, that's great. If you don't, just go through the range of motion with your arms, all right? I'm gonna have some weights today to do with my upper body. Again, if you don't have weights, just use those arms and go through that range of motion, all right? So again, I'm going to time us. So if you have a timer or your phone, that works out perfectly. And we are going to go ahead, start with our cardio, and then followed by a strengthening exercise. Our cardio this first round is going to be jumping jacks, all right? So we'll sit here, palms are out, and you're going to make sure those arms are nice and wide while you step those feet out and in. If you can't do that, you can alternate, all right? So let me go ahead and get my timer started because you don't want me to count because I'm a lot slower than my timer. <laughs> Ready and go. Sitting up nice and tall. Don't forget to breathe as you do this. Shoulders back, chest up. Make sure we pick those feet up. Try not to drag those feet on the floor. Again, you can alternate those feet. If you need to, or both feet, five more seconds. Ready and stop. Very good. Okay, we're going to take 30 seconds to rest. So breathe in that nose, out your mouth, catch your breath. I'm going to go ahead and grab my weights here. And our first exercise that we are going to do is a side lateral raise. All right, so those arms go down to your side, shoulders back, chest up. We'll start in five seconds. Ready, 
and go. Bring those arms out, shoulder height, and then back down to your side. We're doing this for 45 seconds, so remember to pace yourself. Sitting up nice and tall at the front of your chair. Remember to breathe in and out as you do this. Thirty seconds in, fifteen more left. If you need to stop, shake out those arms and take a quick break, and then start back up again. Please feel free to do so. Five more seconds and rest. Very good. All right, I'm setting those weights aside. We'll start our cardio in five seconds. Arms down, palms out. Get ready to do those jumping jacks. Ready? Go. Again, picking those feet up. Don't slide those feet across the floor. Again, you can tap those feet in and out, alternating right and left if you need to. Ten more seconds. You guys are doing great. Ready? And rest. Very good. Woo, shake out those arms. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. I've got some water here. It's a great thing to have water with you in case you need to stop, get a drink during these breaks. We're about to start our third set in this first round. So I'm going to grab my weights here and let's do hammer curl. Arms are down to your side. We're going to hold those weights up and down as we curl. Ready? And go. Just like you're holding a hammer. Shoulders back, chest up, chin up, looking straight ahead. Nice, strong core. It's engaged. You're pulling your belly button to your spine. Ten more seconds. Nope, I'm sorry. I got confused. We're not doing cardio, we're doing our weights. <laughs> Okay, we have 15 more seconds. We're at 30 seconds. And if you need to stop and take a break, please do so. Almost there. Ready and rest. Very good. Okay. Now we are starting our fourth set. Ready and go. I think this might be the third set, actually. I'm sorry. I'm giving your guys the scopes up. <laughs> this is our third set in the first round. Nice big jumping jumps. Keep those arms out nice and wide, picking those feet up nice and tall. Don't forget to breathe. And Rest. Very good. Okay, shake those arms out. Okay, we are starting our, this is the third set in the first round. And this exercise that we are about to do is the butterfly. Okay. So again, you don't have to use weights. You can just use those arms and range of motion. Weights are up and down, elbows out. You're going to make sure you squeeze those shoulder blades nice and tight. Ready, go. Squeeze, just like you have a pencil between your shoulder blades and you don't want it to drop. Remember, this is 45 seconds. So pace yourself. You don't need to rush through this. Sitting up tall, your core is engaged. 15 more seconds. And rest. Very good. Okay. Now we're starting the fourth exercise in our first round. So get those arms down, shake them out, turn those palms out. Get ready to do our last 
set of jumping jacks. Go. Remember, you can alternate right and left foot if you need to, or both feet in and out. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. And rest, very good, shake those arms out. All right, our next exercise that we are going to do is shoulder press, all right? So again, either go through that range of motion with just your arms or grab your weights. We're coming up on our break between those two rounds here, so it's a great time to get some water. All right, after this exercise, ready and go. Remember to keep that chin up and shoulders back, chest up. Fifteen more seconds. Five. Very good. Shake those arms out. All right. Now it's time we're going to take a nice long break. It'll be about a minute and a half to two minutes long. Just shake those arms out. Get a drink of water. And just give yourself that recovery period that you need before we start our second round. One thing I love about these interval exercises is, is they're not a long 45 minute or hour exercise. It's a nice short 20 to 30 minute exercise class that you can do. And it still gets that strengthening in and your cardio in for good endurance and strengthening exercise. And it's fun. I think it's fun. Anyway, give about another minute before we start back up again. Also, um, this round, our cardio is going to be running. So, Make sure you're moving at your shoulders, picking those speed up, okay? Still catching your breath, breathing in and out your mouth. In your nose, out your mouth. We have about 30 more seconds before we start our second round. Again, our cardio this round is going to be running. Okay, our first round of strengthening, we are going to do front raise. Right? <clears throat> 20 more seconds. All right, make sure we're sitting at the front of our chair, shoulders back, chest up. In that ready position, our core is engaged, belly button to the spine. Ready and go. Let's run, 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 run. And if running is hard for you and you aren't able to do that, just really get a good steady march going. All right? 10 more seconds. And rest. Good job. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. And like I said, our first strengthening exercise is going to be a front raise. Shoulders back, chest up. Arms down to your side. About 10 more seconds and we will start. Ready. And 
Go, raise those arms, shoulder height, lower back down. Remember to have nice, good control as you go through this range of motion. Try not to just let your arms drop with those weights and swing back. Really have good, nice control as you go up and down. Again, remember to pace yourself. This is 45 seconds. Fifteen more seconds left. <clears throat> Five. And rest. Very good. OK, starting our second set in the second round. Remember, we're running or really quick walk. Ready and go. <laughs> Shoulders back, chest up. Don't forget to breathe. Nice, tight core, pulling your belly button to your spine. Almost there, you're doing great. And rest. Good job. Shake those arms out. Shake your legs out. Take those good deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. Our um, weight this set is going to be triceps. All right. So you only need one weight. The first way you can do it is 90 degrees. Elbow and extending forward and backwards and go. The other way you can do it is if you have that range of motion, you can bring that arm up, elbow by your ear, and raise that arm up and down. We're doing one side first. We'll wait and rest that 15 seconds. And then we will do our left arm. Very good. 15 seconds left. You guys are doing wonderful. Shoulders back, chest up, chin up, sitting up nice and tall at the front of that chair. Good job, Russ. Shake that arm out, switch that weight to the other side. Again, that elbow is in front of your shoulder if you're going to extend that hand forward and backwards or elbow up. Ready and go. So again, that arm can go up and down. Or elbow goes in front of that shoulder. Forwards and backwards. You guys are doing great. Almost there, 10 seconds. Good, rest. All right. <clears throat> Let's start our third set here. Ready and go. <clears throat> Sitting up nice and tall, picking up those feet, moving our arms and our shoulders. Ten more seconds. You guys have got this. Don't forget to breathe. Five. Rest. Very good. Catch your breath. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. All right, this one we are going to do regular bicep curls. Remember, if you need to stop, get a drink of water, please do so, okay? 10 more seconds, we will start <clears throat> our bicep curls. Sitting at the front of our chair, shoulders back, chest up, 
Keep those elbows in. Ready? Go. Palms out. Bring those hands up to your shoulders and back down. Again, remember to have nice controlled motion as you go through these movements. Fifteen more seconds. Five. And rest. Very good. All right, we're starting our last set in this second round, and then we will stretch. All right. <clears throat> Shoulders back, chest up. Ready and run. Again, if you aren't able to run, do quick walks. Get those feet up, move those arms. Get that heart rate up. Breathing, don't hold your breath. You're doing great. Less than 10 seconds, you guys. All right, rest, good job. Our last exercise here is an incline chest press. So you're going to lean back, elbows out. Your weights are going to be here at your chest. Push up at an incline and then back down. This is the only time I'll let you use your back on your chair. All right, shoulders back, chest up, lean back, still a nice strong core. Ready and go. Pulling that belly button to your spine. Keeping that chin up, try not to tuck that chin down to your chest. Doing wonderful, guys. Ten more seconds. And rest. Woo. All right. What a great workout. Okay. If you need to get a quick drink of water, we're going to stretch next. All right. Shoulders back, chest up. Let's go ahead. And turn our bodies to the right in our chair. Drop this outside leg down so your knee is parallel to the floor. Get that toe on your floor. Push that heel back, shoulders back, chest up. Stretch out your hip and your quadricep here. Good. Bring that foot in. Turn to the center, and then we're going to turn left. Again, this outside leg, we're going to drop that knee parallel to the floor. Push your heel back again, stretching out your hip and quadriceps, shoulders back, chest up. I tend to want to stretch about mm, at least 10 to 15 seconds long on each stretch. Bring that foot in. Face the center. Now we're going to extend this left leg. Heel down, toe up. Get those shoulders back, hands on your right leg. Shoulders back, chest up. Look straight ahead, lean in. This is going to stretch out our hamstring and our calf muscle. Pull that toe in towards you. Good. Shoulders back, chest up. Bring that left ankle onto your right thigh. Notice how my right ankle stays below my right knee. I don't drop that knee in or out or my foot in or out. I keep that all in line with my hip and knee. If you're unable to do that, that's just fine. Extend your right leg and bring your ankle down to your shin. 
All right, <clears throat> this is stretching out our glute muscle. Good, put that left foot down. This time we're extending our right leg out, shoulders back, chest up, hands on your left thigh. Leaning, keeping that chin up. The reason why I always say to put those hands on your opposite thigh is because our leg is extended on this right side, for example. And if we push down on that right leg as it's extending, it is putting extra strain on our um, right knee. And we don't want that. We want to um, try to protect our joints as much as possible. So always put it on that opposite leg. All right. Now, right ankle goes on top of that left thigh. Again, my left ankle stays below my left knee. It's all in line, shoulders back, chest up. Again, if you can't get that ankle on top of your thigh, extend that leg out and rest that leg or ankle on your um, shin. Again, stretching out your glute muscle on that right side. Very good. <clears throat> Put those feet flat on the floor. Take your left arm, bring it straight across your chest. Right hand on your left forearm. Again, I'm not putting it on my elbow. I don't want that strain on that joint that's already extended. Shoulders back, chest up. Reach up with my left hand, touch my back, put my right hand below my elbow. Keep that chin up. Now, if you don't have that range of motion in your shoulder to reach back, take your left hand, put it on your right shoulder, and then your right hand goes below your left elbow. And this is just a modified tricep stretch. Okay? Good. Now, right arm goes straight across my chest. My left hand is on my right forearm, not my elbow. That arm is straight as possible. Very good. Again, you can reach up, touch your back with your right hand. The left hand goes below that um, right elbow. Or again, you can modify by taking your right hand, putting it on your left shoulder, and then left hand below your right elbow. Great. All right, last but not least, let's stretch our neck out. I want you to turn and look to the left. Center, turn and look to the right. Center, get those shoulders back, bring that chin down to your chest. Center, look up. Center, keeping that chin at midline, drop your ear to the right, stretching out this left side of your neck. Center, drop your ear to the left, stretching out the right side of your neck. Good, center, and my favorite, I can't help but smile on this one, is bringing your chin forward and backwards. It reminds me of whenever chickens walk. And forwards and backwards. And then roll those shoulders out. Thank you guys so much for joining me for Cardio Circuit. I hope you had a wonderful time. And if you ever have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out to me. Have a wonderful day.